You've located some specific genes that lead to friendly behavior. That's right. When we sequenced a bunch of dogs and a bunch of wolves, we used that to then search for mutations in the dog genome that only dogs had. And we came out with a really nice hot spot of mutations on chromosome number six in the dog genome. And that's what's highlighted here. You can actually pinpoint genetic mutations in dogs that make that dog friendly to humans in a way that wolves are not. Absolutely. Wow. This was a major finding, in my opinion. And that is something that would have evolved over time. That's right. So we can imagine back in the pre-dog era where there were wolves running around, and some of those wolves were maybe making their dens closer to human settlements. I hypothesize that if I could go and sequence those wolves, that they would carry maybe two of these mutations, mm -hmm. and the rest of the wolves, maybe none. Bridget von Holt calls these friendliness mutations. So does my dog really love me, or is my dog just <laughs> acting out on its genetic code? She absolutely loves you. <laughs> she has the genetic predisposition to wholeheartedly love you more than she probably right, can handle. What came next in Von Holt's research stunned her and us. She found the location of the friendliness mutations in dogs corresponds to the same genes that when deleted in humans cause a rare condition called Williams syndrome. Her study established one of the first genetic links in behavior between dogs and humans.